Good morning. It's going to be a good day. I can tell. I'm on my way down to work out. I do these workouts called gppfitness.com. Been doing them for years. And they're free online. If you want to feel a little better, run down there and grab them. You can just have them. They're there for you. Now, there's an issue in my town. And it has to do with the kids going back to school. And I've been watching it with some particular interest because I have school-age kids, right? I've got a senior all the way down to first grade. And I've been wondering how they're going to handle this situation of kids going back to school. And it's been funny to watch people losing their damn minds over this issue. And here's why it's funny. Because we knew they had to do something. Right? We knew they had to do something. They weren't just going to let the kids go back to school. Hey, everybody, back to school you go. Everything's back to normal in the face of this COVID-19 pandemic. Go ahead. You can go back to school. No problem. And here's why we knew they weren't going to do that. Because one little kid, one little kid in the entire country goes back to school, catches COVID-19, and God forbid dies. Everybody will get their torches, they will get their pitchforks, and they will storm the castle, right? And heads are going to roll. So we knew they were going to do something. They had to do something. And I've been laughing about how that process must have lo looked, right? Can you even imagine being in that room? Here come all the, high, all the school administrators. They probably all sat in a room. They had locked the door. They pulled out the poison, and they were like, guys... We're damned if we do, and we're damned if we don't, so we might as well all just kill ourselves. We got the poison here. Why don't you say your last goodbyes, and let's just all do this thing together. And I'm imagining that at some point, as they were all toasting each other's lives and their great sacrifices that they were about to make, just as they got it to their lips, I'll bet you somebody in the, in the place, just one little voice as a peep, like a mouse whisper, like a mouse fart, right? They probably all went, wait, I'm really going to miss my family. I know, me too. And they all started that round again. That's probably been going on for a long time. And then they're like, wouldn't you think there'd be some compromise we could make? And somebody was like, damned if we do and damned if we don't. I know, but let's do something else. I don't want to die. We're all going to die anyway. I know. Let's try it. Right? That's ha That had to be what they came up with. Well, let's just try it. Let's let them kill us. Let's not kill ourselves. And they did, man. They did. People are hollering for their heads. And here's what happened. And I'm impressed because it was an elegant solution that they came up with. What they came up with in my area is that kids with last names between A and K are going to go to to school on Mondays and Wednesdays. They're going to homeschool on Thursdays and or Tuesdays and Thursdays. Kids from J up are going to come to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they're going to homeschool Monday and Wednesday. Now, not an elegant or not the best solution for everybody, right? Because I can hear all the the parents out there with dual incomes that have to go to work, going, "What in the hell am I going to do with my first grader?" Right on those two days, what am I going to do? And it wasn't a great solution for them, because. Um, but here's the deal: it was a half good solution. Because their biggest issue last time when they canceled school was finding kid, finding a babysitter for those kids five days a week. And now they only got to go two. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Because everybody's going to have to make sacrifices. Everybody's going to have to make some sort of a compromise. That was not bad. They canceled Friday. You only got to do two. You're going to pay something anyway. That's not bad. It isn't great, but it isn't bad. Which is probably the best thing about this, is it really was the most middle-of-the-road compromise. And here's what I think. I think that when you piss everybody off, the people that want this, the people want this, they get about half and they get about half, dude, you're in the hunt. You did it just about right. Good job. Good job. Way to go. Elegant solution. Not the greatest solution, but here's the deal. Everybody's going to have to sacrifice and everybody's going to compromise. So I'm going to call on you at this point. Congratulate these people that damn near died in that room. Because I'll bet you it was close. I'll bet you it was close. 
it's a good solution. It's better than one kid getting hurt. And I get it, right? Like, hey man, somebody's still gonna get sick. I know, I know, but you had to do something. And let's be honest, I wasn't really good at this homeschool thing, right? I wasn't really great at watching my kids' grades. And if we're still being honest, I'm guessing I'm gonna be that way from here forward. So thank God they can at least have two days a week where somebody's in their face going, hey, what are you doing for your homework? Because I was doing it a smidge, but man, I wasn't cut out to do it. And you weren't either. I saw the numbers. So congratulations on an elegant solution. I call on anybody listening to this to A, be a solution maker. Anybody can create a problem. Anybody can. So easy to sit and pick on somebody else's decisions. Great, easy, super easy to Monday morning quarterback. Um, and then find help us find better solutions because I bet there are some that are even better compromises. But then be prepared to do just a little sacrificing because that's kind of what it's still called for. I know we want this COVID thing over, but... We're still going to have to sacrifice a little. Those are some thoughts I had on that. I'm super interested to hear what some of your thoughts are on better solutions, if there are any, or solutions to that solution. Um, if you want that cool workout I was talking about, gppfitness.com, it's free there. And uh, thank you so much if you like, comment, or subscribe.